Playoff Frenzy when a few lucky audience members hit our field for game time challenges that'll send them home with some easy cash money. Now, I'm here for that. Ready for that. You ready for that? Yeah, yeah. And later, we're taking your favorite tailgate foods and turning them into dips that are sure to score with your home team. And the best part about everything today, Nelly, the dip, the coins that you can win, my girl Tamara's back! Yeah. 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 Are you ready for some girl checkers? We yes. missed you. I missed you too. Okay, good. I love it. Well, you guys, Lately, it seems like every time you pick up a magazine or you go on the internet, there's a story about someone throwing major shade. Hmm. Mm -hmm. However, the five of us ladies don't usually agree on who's right and who's wrong, right? Mm. Yeah. So <laughs> we've decided to bring it to you guys. Are you guys ready to play Shade or No Shade? So here's how you play. We all have our shade-tastic, the real sunglasses. Yeah, you guys yeah. have your shade-tastic? Yeah. 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 You have them, you have them. And audience, you guys are gonna be playing along with us too. So the rules are simple. We're gonna talk about some stories and if you think there's some shade going on, you put on your shades like this. Shade. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, now if you think there's not any shade, you know, you just leave them off. That's pretty simple, right? Yeah, you guys yep. got it? You got this. All right, well, I'm excited. I love this game. Here we go. Let's play Shade, No Shade. Okay, let me start off. It looks like Kenya Moore has yet again found herself in the middle of a shade war. Oh, Lord. After the Atlanta Housewives star and her friend were allegedly turned down for a picture with Oscar-winning actress Lupita Nyong'o at the Golden Globes after party, Moore tweeted that Nyong'o refused to take pics after two movies. Girl, bye. <laughs> However, Lupita didn't seem too phased by it. She replied when a, a reporter asked her, who is Kenya Moore? <laughs> Woo! Oh. Are you sure? Do you think Lupita really didn't know who Kenya was? Or was she throwing Oscar worthy? I, okay, you guys, I, I maybe she's like me, Lupita. I don't watch those. Sh I don't watch those shows. So maybe she clearly didn't know who she was. Now, if she did, it was a very classy shade. Yeah, uh -huh. it was. It and was. Let's please remember, we're talking about a woman who has multiple nominations, an Oscar, Oscar win, win, always on my fashion, best dress, yes. always. Three movies coming up in the next two years. I really think there's a chance she may not just be watching You mean television. Lupita yes. has a job? Oh. <laughs> that that You guys, Lupita, to me, is a class act. Yes. And I don't think she has time for, yes, for that's what I that. Think. And like that's Tamar said. She ain't got time to take that picture either. She's that's what she had time looked. for. She, who is you? And not to mention, how many times have you been at a party where you just don't feel like taking pictures? Yeah. When or, you've had too much to drink, you're sweaty. Or maybe she does just, know who she is and maybe just isn't a fan. That's what I'm saying. No shade. What else has Kenya been on? Shade. No, seriously, she was Miss, was she Miss America? Did she win? She didn't go to Miss Universe, did she? <laughs> I, I don't. No, no, she wasn't there. However, she threw out that oh, comment. Oh, Miss USA, us. someone corrected her. Yes, yes. Miss USA. Okay. I'm just saying how Kenya would think this, this chick should know. Girl, that was 20 years ago, though, she won that title. <laughs> no shade. No. No this shade. Is, we are facts, right? No shade. No shade, nobody. Did they say no shade with her glasses? All right, on. everyone. <laughs> I'm just saying. Everyone, get out your shades. Lupita saying she doesn't know who Kenya is. Is that shade or no shade? No, no shade. shade. Come on now. Shade. Yes, no shade. No. Shade. 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 All right. You guys have heard the expression, where there's smoke, there's fire. Well, check out this next story. According to Media Takeout, a woman has come forward alleging that Iggy Azalea's boyfriend, Nick Young, not only cheated with her, but she claims she's got pictures to prove it. The pictures look pretty convincing, you know, of the woman that you see right here, pictured with Nick next to the car that Iggy bought him for Christmas last year. Now, do you guys think this woman is lying to try to break up Iggy and Nick's relationship, or is there too much evidence to ignore? I think maybe the side chick is upset that she's a side chick. Yeah. I say she's very shady, because if you even are the side chick, you putting out photos like this, you, you, 
She's saying that she's putting out these photos so that she can uh, take the rose-colored glasses off of Iggy. Girl, take your glasses off now. and stop being a side I chick. Oh. You know how it is. When, when there are women out there that could make up things for whatever feelings that they're this having. This would hurt my feelings. If that was Absolutely. my car, but you would go home. I, that would hurt my feelings really bad. If I bought a man a car, which I have in life, and then I saw photos like this, I think naturally as a woman, you'd be like, what is going on? Absolutely. Yeah. So I think it's very shady. The whole thing is shady. shady How do you know he was wasn't rolling somewhere in his Girl, car that stop, he happened to love? Stop to make excuses. And all of a sudden, stop. somebody asked stop. to take a picture. Stop. No, really. So, it's not, hold up, so let me ask you a question. So if you saw Freddie out with a girl like that and somebody snapped a picture like that and put that on Instagram, you will not have a bunch of questions? I Remember, I would, I would, I would, but I would, getting in my car? I would, you got she, your arm around. She wouldn't have anything to do with it. I would take him home, have a talk with him, listen to what my intuition says, and from there, base my decision. And, 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 and there's a nothing saying, to do with her. There's a nothing. saying that believe half of what you see and none of what you hear. So unless Iggy sits down and talks to him, exactly. we don't know. I think we it's don't Iggy's, know. Iggy's decision. Right. Yes. She like it, yes. I like it. To stay with him or not, because she's the one who's who's with him. And, exactly. and she, she knows what's and up. And for this I woman think women to make those know. allegations, that is very shady. It's yes. shady. The credibility is shady. It's all shade, honey. It's all shade. Audience, what do you I think? think? To make Get your shades out if you think this woman's calling out Nick Young as a cheater. Shade or no shade? I only oh, because of the pool table Ooh. comment. I'm a I half shade. I think I'm, <laughs> I'm a half shade. Fans will come up to you, take pictures like that. It's Tamar, you've call. got a lot of Tamar shades that are guys. They ain't at my like, car with their arm around me. I'm. But if you were outside, you if Miss Tamar Braxton stepped out of her car and a Tamar shade came running up to you to take a picture, I know you. You're nice. You would take a, a man picture. tall like that. I'm on a date, honey. Okay, <laughs> moving on, you guys. Recently, Jennifer Lopez went on Watch What Happens Live to promote her new movie, The Boy Next Door, and is now being accused of being extra shady. Here's why. When Andy Cohen asked her about what type of man she likes, J-Lo said, type-wise, I'm not a looks person. I don't know if you've noticed over the years. Is J-Lo just being a jilted ex, or is she calling out her exes based on their lack of looks by that comment? What do you guys think? Mm, I don't think that's shady. I, I watched either. it. And, and when I watched it, first of all, she looked absolutely oh, Yes, that egg. plunge. But what I will say is J-Lo clearly doesn't have a type. I mean, none of them look anything alike. At all. I mean, let's go through them. Ohani Noah, which was her first husband. He looks totally different from the rest of them. Puff. Puff is a handsome man. Chris Judd, again, looks nothing like the and other ones. Ben and Affleck. he's very handsome. Ben Affleck, very handsome. Um, Mark, Mark Anthony, Anthony, I think he's very handsome and very sexy. Almost everyone would say all those men are very attractive. Well, maybe oh. they're not fine like that to her. Maybe they cool Yeah. Her. yeah. I think what she's saying is, is basically she just cares about what's on the she inside. She does say that. It doesn't necessarily mean if they're ugly or not, because clearly all of her exes weren't ugly. Yeah, I think she probably was talking about Mark Anthony. Maybe that's who she was talking about. Is there a possibility <laughs> that there was shade, but it's not like it's bad? She's like... I didn't really date anybody for looks. I think that's, she was answering it honestly. She said, yeah. it's just not, like joking, I'm not a types person. Like a joking yeah. Fun yeah. way. All right, so <laughs> time to vote. J-Lo calling out her exes on their looks. Shade or no shade, audience? No shade. There's not I, one person. That's not awesome. one person thinks it's shade? No. Oh. So y'all think Mark Anthony cute. Okay. All right. She don't need Beauty. She don't need She don't think he's fine either. Okay, let's move on to I, the next I'm one. I'm older. There's some fast and furious shade being thrown in the direction of rapper Ludacris. What? Uh, yes. A source claims to TMZ that Ludacris' ex, Tamika Fuller, has accused him of quickly proposing to and marrying his new wife, Eudoxy, solely to get full custody of their one-year-old daughter, Kai, I like that name, so Ludacris can get out of paying the $7,000 a month in child support he's ordered to pay. However, Ludacris thinks he's the better parent and has a more stable household. Do you think it's out of line for Tamika to accuse Ludacris of getting married to drop his child support? Absolutely. You do? I do. Like, I mean, at the end, first of all, he's a dad. Mm -hmm. I think that's ludicrous to say somebody is going to get married not to pay their child support. It's not like she the person that he married. Okay. Ding, ding, ding. You uh -oh. know, I'm just saying. Yeah, he still can get, like, that's not going to cancel out the child support. And furthermore, I really like this couple. Me too. Why are, we, why are we knocking a father taking in his child and owning that he wants to take care of her? And this was a break baby. A break baby. Y'all know what break baby means. No, what's a break baby? 
A break, baby, Only means... means Oxy took a break off. Right. Explain and then, it. And then he hung out. Right. With Tamika. They were always friends. They've been old time, fr you old time friends. You know what that like is. Friends. So they had right. a little hum, uh, hum, uh, hum, and then had a baby. But what the argument is, is that she is blaming Ludacris for getting married so quickly so he can get out of it. Maybe not so quickly. They've been together, together for, for a like long years. time. Yeah, but then why he hadn't married her in the beginning then? That's because what some, she's saying. All of a sudden now, because you have this baby by me, now you want to get married. Yeah, baby but why Lonnie? you mad, though? Yeah, but like, maybe, Lonnie, he went on the break, uh, he went on the break, and then realized, wait a minute, I really love this woman. Uh, yeah, uh, yep, that's true, too. Okay, you guys, uh, what do you think? Ludacris' ex calling his marriage a sham, shade, or no shade? Shade! I think that's straight up disrespectful. It's shade. I think it's shade. shade. I'm sorry. 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 But I really hope the best for this girl. Yeah. And he already got a daughter. That's the only case he would have married the first baby mama. Ooh, no shade though. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, recently, <laughs> Molly Cyrus and Selena Gomez got into a major selfie war on Instagram. Uh oh. So Molly was accused by Selena's fans of throwing shade at her when she posted to the sexy selfie, seemingly mocking one Selena had just taken. Now, Molly then captioned the photo by saying, do you think if I push my tatas up, I'll get more followers? <laughs> wow. I mean, I just have to say. I do that with Tamar. I do, like, if she come up with something, I'm like, this too. <laughs> But you know what? But well, we know yours is shade. You guys, wait, I but you guys, see, clearly she's I mean, being, I'm admiring um, you. That's, so maybe Miley she's admiring her. Miley in my photo is, is being, she's not just taking a pretty picture. She's, she's obviously sarcastic. being sarcastic. She's being funny. Yeah. She's yeah. not even yeah. being serious. I see Miley as someone who hardly ever takes herself seriously. Yeah. So I think she's just, you know, yeah. having, having a little fun. And if you follow Miley Cyrus, you, she, she does, you know, some wild things on there. Yeah. And she's this, a fun you know. girl. Yeah. Yeah. Miley Cyrus is a very funny, fun girl. Yeah. She doesn't take herself too seriously. Mm -hmm. And you know. growing, up, growing up, you know, we're, we all came up in Disney Channel together. I've seen these girls together hang out mm -hmm. when we did Disney Channel games, uh -huh. and they always seemed really cool to me. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. So, Well, I, if Miley did that, you know, with all your shots, what would you think? I would think, girl, put me on, yeah. <laughs> really? Ain't nobody worried about that. That's a hard time now because it's like people think that when you make a joke, it's automatically shade. What is wrong with a joke now? Exactly. Yes. You know yes. what I mean? Like, yes. I ain't shading you because I'm talking about you and laughing with you. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Exactly. Wait, prior to this, has Miley and Selena ever had some type of? No, I don't think so. No, they don't like so the same no? type of men. Not yeah. at all. See, they, I don't. I just don't. World. I think no shade. I think these girls were just like feeling it, being silly, not being silly, whatever. They look great. I like both photos. No shade. I think it's funny. Look how my, Molly got her lips. Okay. Good morning, Molly. <laughs> she got. I love it. I can't stop showing looking at it. So yeah. Okay, what do you guys think? Molly taking her sexy selfie, shade or no shade? No, guys. No, no shade. shade. No shade. All right. I'm talking into it. Yeah. <laughs> Not at all. I think it's no shade as well. There ain't no Our shade Our audience seems here, like huh? very reasonable people. They Have do. You. I think so. For the big game, the top snacks at everyone's party are pizza, cheeseburgers, and jalapeno poppers. And the one thing to get any crowd on their feet is a killer dip. Yes. Yes, so why not combine it? We're taking your favorite football foods and transforming them into a scoopable snack. Get ready to have everyone at your tailgate Dig in on some dips. Okay, my dip takes a favorite tailgating snack and turns it into a touchdown worthy dip. Here's how to make pizza party dip. Yes! Okay, you're gonna start out by mixing some cream cheese, some Italian seasoning, salt, and pepper oh, into a bowl. Yes, 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 yes. We're gonna mix that like this. Next, you're gonna transfer the mixture into a dish and sprinkle half a cup of Parmesan and half a cup of mozzarella Ooh. cheese. Here's the uh, Parmesan, mozzarella cheese. You're only gonna do half of that. Then you're gonna grab some pizza sauce, which you can buy pre-made from the grocery store, and you're just gonna add that in, add lots of it in. Then you're gonna sprinkle some more cheese on top. I'm gonna add some pepperoni. Mm. <laughs> then we're gonna add some sausages. Mm. And then we're gonna add peppers. And my favorite, 
olives. Then we're just gonna cover that, then we're gonna pop it in the oven. How about that? Okay. okay. And That's not a when bit we're done, <laughs> <laughs> get this. You've got a yummy way to eat pizza yeah. by the scoop. Oh my goodness. Taste that, Ronnie. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's good. Yeah. All right now. Yeah. What you finna do, Lonnie? I dip with tackle you with flavor, so you gotta have your defense up. Get that? <laughs> yeah. Here's how to make a bacon cheeseburger dip. First, season the ground beef in olive oil, cook it through, and strain out the fat until it comes out like this, right? Mm -hmm. Then you put that beef into this bacon pan, mm. uh-huh, and then you top it with some cream cheese, mm. and then you put some tomatoes, uh -huh. and then, of course, after you do all of that, you add my favorite, bacon! Yes! And then you start adding the shredded cheese, like that, bam, bam. Then you cover it up with the foil, put it in that oven, you let it bake for about an hour, 250 degrees. Then you reduce the heat to 200 degrees, and bake it for another hour. Sure. And you know what? You can be getting you some while you're letting it bake, all right? Because ah! when it comes out, trust me, it's worth the wait. Oh, it's done. wow. You feel like you have scored the winning touchdown, yes. Mm -hmm. You like that? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That good? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You know, my dip is perfect for the big game because it's got a little spicy kickoff of its own. Spicy. Here's how I make my poppin' jalapeno dip. <laughs> you like that? You like that? Okay, first what you're gonna do, you're gonna mix up some cream cheese, a little bit of mayonnaise, a little cheddar, and a little Parmesan cheese, some chilies and some jalapenos. Mm -hmm. uh -oh. So then you mix her together and then you put her into an ungreased bacon dish. Uh -huh. Just like that, ooh, I can smell them jalapenos. Mm. So now I'm gonna mix Wanda. up some breadcrumbs, a little bit more Parmesan cheese, and a little bit of olive oil in a small dish. Okay. And then you're gonna whisk her around like that. Mm -mm. Okay. And then you sprinkle that breadcrumb on top to get that little the crunch, yep. And then <laughs> you bake her at 350 degrees for 20 minutes until it's golden brown. And when she's done, I'm so excited. Bam! Ooh. You have a poppin' jalapeno dip that can headline any halftime show. I'm gonna need you to taste this because I know this is bomb, Ooh. all right? Okay, jalapeno. I, I really don't, don't like a lot spicy, but. What? Because you Oh, you can smell the jalapeno. What? Ooh, 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 yeah. Okay, that's good. Yeah. It's delicious. It gives that you is ghost. spicy. Yeah, it's spicy, but I like it's spicy. It's spicy. And that's the game. Now, is it getting hot in here, or is it just a dream? Now, either way, I blame my next guest. It's time to get up out of your seats. Get up, everybody, out your seats, and shake your tail feather for my boy, Nelly! <laughs> Before you sit down, you gotta go over here and spin that heel. to have you here, especially Miss Tamar right over there. <laughs> oh, that's, that's my buddy. Yes. You're actually her man crush Monday, okay? You have to take a look. Oh, one man. He is my man crush. Now, I mean, this is one man that does not age. What's up, hashtag MCMB? I love it. Hey, everybody know that's all in good fun, all right? 
Okay. Right. Okay. And I have to warn the rest of you ladies, Miss Lonnie, yeah. that he is already taken, all right? He's dating Miss Chantel Jackson. Let me tell you, right? me and Nelly go back, all yeah. right? Don't we? Yeah, we go back, baby. Chelsea Lately, he was my first interviewer. He came mm -hmm. and we had a good time. Great so time. I always have love with Nelly. Great thank time. you, Nelly. She knows. Thank is that you. it? No, thank you, Sheila. Okay, so, uh, Nelly. <laughs> Back to Miss Chantel Jackson. Are we gonna be popping any questions, you know, anytime soon? Y'all um, been hanging tight for a while now, though. Well, it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah, yeah. More like about a year or so. You yeah. know what I'm saying? I think what we're doing is not trying to succumb to to the pressures of what everybody else think our relationship should be, and right. just and just taking our time with everything. Right. Smart. Very smart. Yeah. Right. Yeah. You know. it, I'm watching you, Shorty. Nelly, <laughs> I just gotta get nosy, okay? Cause mm -hmm. I wanna know, how do y'all keep it hot and spicy in the bedroom? Let's give me some tips. I'm a Scorpio. Oh, okay. So, being spontaneous, you uh -huh. know what I'm saying? I don't, I, don't, I don't think you should have a set precedent on when, where, how. Mm -hmm. I, I just think, you know, if y'all if y'all like that, then be like that. Yeah. <laughs> Well, we love seeing you on our favorite show, The Real Husbands of Hollywood. Yeah! Love it. It's so funny. Thank you. It's so good. So, what is the craziest thing that's happened on the show? I mean, you know, me, me and T actually had had a, had a great time um, in season three. We did, huh? Uh, yeah. Going back and forth, <laughs> but it was it was fun, and I think it's one of those scenarios. I love probably what you, what you guys have here is one of those scenarios where you look forward to going to work. Mm -hmm. You love the people that you work with, you yeah. know, and you love the camaraderie and the and the spirit that you bring out of one another, and it's just a fun atmosphere. I love that. I love that. Well, your other show, Nellyville, is returning for a second season. Yeah. Yes. Yes. So good. And on Nellyville, we get to see you being a father, not only to your two kids, but also your niece and your nephew. So what is the message that you want to get out there about being a single father? I think that there are single fathers. Mm -hmm. Right. Do you yeah. know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. They not, exist. Not, not baby daddies, like mm -hmm. single fathers. And good single fathers. Yeah, you know, I think it's very important. We're the only generation of parents that, I mean, we share the most with our kids. Right. You know, we share the same clothes. We play <laughs> video games. We like the same music. But I still understand that you have to let the youth be the youth, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, and you got to let them make their own mistakes. But it's also important to understand that, um, you know, you got to guide them. First of all, we can't continue because I don't know what the heck Lonnie is doing over there. What are you holding? My Nelly pillow. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bonnie, can, you, can you tell us what the game is, please? Okay. Nelly, we know that in St. Louis, y'all got your own kind of lingo. Well, we feel a little left out, so we want you to fill us in. We're going to give you a sentence, and using that easel, we want you to write down how you would put it in your Midwest swing. We're all ears over here because afterwards, you have to teach us how to say it. Are you guys ready to play St. Louis lingo? Hey! Okay. okay, how would you say Lonnie in the parking lot is so attractive? What? <laughs> First of all, the okay. question was that woman right. in the parking lot is well, so attractive. I added my name. Okay, I, I, I do it like <laughs> this. Take your time. Her. Little mama right there. That, that deal? Wait, he has okay, to let say him it. say it. Let him okay. say it. So if you say it, you gotta be like, yo, little mama right there, that's that deal. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay. okay. Nelly, my turn. Okay. okay, I got one. I just got my car washed, have a full tank of gas, and now I'm ready to go for a drive. What? <laughs> okay, so um Lonnie's still holding on to her He's pillow. So okay, so Nelly, how would you say that? So it'd be like, yo, I'm all filled up, I'm ready to ride. <laughs> okay. Okay. Right. Okay. okay, let's say that. Okay. I'm uh, all filled up and I'm ready to ride. Ooh, all you right. yeah, look at that. Okay. We well, appreciate I have you. one. Okay. I'm so excited. I just got tickets to Nelly's concert. <laughs> now, how do you say that, Nelly? <laughs> Here we go. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Look at them arms. Yeah. <laughs> Stay with it, Lonnie. Look at that backside. Oh, oh Lonnie. Lonnie. What? I'm just. <laughs> <laughs> I 
I love it. Oh, I love it. Ooh. There you oh. go. This so is the best day of my life. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I need to hear Tamara say it. Tamara, you want to say it. Come on, Tamara. You say no, this. I want to hear you, you say, say it. it. This is the best day of my life. <laughs> We'd say this. Yo. I really enjoy my boyfriend's company, but sometimes I could use some alone time. How would mm. you say that in St. Louis? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. This fool getting on, <laughs> this fool getting on my damn nerves. <laughs> got that. Yeah. Okay, okay, I got one. I got one. <laughs> I'm interested in going out on a date with you. Would you like to take me to dinner? <laughs> you okay. want the answer or the question? Give me, give me the answer. Give me the answer. Uh, Would you take me to dinner? Would I take you to dinner? Mm hmm <laughs> St. Louis answer. OK. Yeah. Uh-oh. Getting nervous. It's getting hot in her. <laughs> but don't take off all your clothes. <laughs> <laughs> there you Is go. Is it a Dear Lottie letter? What? Is Ooh. <laughs> Or you want me to say it? You say it. You say it. You say it. How about I take you, make you, and have you for dinner? The big game is this Sunday, and whether you're grabbing the beer or throwing the party, who couldn't use an extra few bucks, right? Uh huh. We're going to give you a shot to hit the field and make some cold, hard cash. It's a football frenzy. while Lonnie, Jeannie, and I will help with the games down here. Now, each audience member who's willing to participate in one of our challenges gets $100 cash money! Now we're looking for someone to run through those tires, pass me a ball, then tackle our dummy. Tamara, who you got that can handle the real obstacle course? Okay, Lonnie, let's see. What's your name and where are you from? I'm Summer and I'm from San Diego, California! Okay! Let's see you take down our little obstacle course. Head on over there. to set up a football party. You have to put your tablecloth out, set up some chips, wings, hang three balloons, and pour two drinks in under one minute. Tamar, who you got? I know it's somebody else. Tamara? Yes. Who's that the spirit, girl? Oh, I see you shaking that pom pom. Come on over here. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> Hi there. What's your name and where are you from? My name is Shay Wilkins. I'm from Aliceville, Alabama. Were you a cheerleader growing up? No, but I was a basketball player, so I know the cheers. Okay. okay. <laughs> All right. Head on over to Lonnie and show us your spirit fingers over right there. She's it. Oh. <laughs> it's about 
Sinky! 